The terms coding and programming have been in use for many years now. Have you ever been in a situation where these two terms, you know, coding and programming are used interchangeably? And sometimes it feels like the usage of either one doesn't fit right. If you've ever had this experience, I can definitely tell you that coding and programming are actually two different things. In fact, to ensure that you never get confused between these concepts again, we here at Great Learning have come up with this video discussing the differences that lie between coding and programming. Well, are you guys excited to know more about this? Let's get started. Before we get started, I want to introduce you to Great Learning Academy. This is a free initiative by Great Learning where you can have access to over 200 plus courses with 1000 plus hours of free content on all of the trending high demand domains, absolutely free. Register now to complete the course and get your free certificate of completion as well. Check out the link in the description box of the video below for more details. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. This is done to make sure you do not miss out on any of the new updates or video releases from Great Learning. And of course, guys, if you enjoy this video, show us some love and do like this video. Knowledge increases by sharing, right? So make sure you share this video with your friends, colleague and everyone who can make use of it. And at the end of it, make sure to comment on the video if you have any queries or any suggestions and I'll be more than happy to respond to all of your comments. All right, guys, so let's get started, right? What is coding to begin with? Coding is basically a process of how I can convert one language into the other. Let me give you a generic example. If I am a speaker who knows how to speak, let's say English, Hindi and Kannada, and now I have a friend who wants something down, maybe in, uh, uh, you know, Tamil or maybe in another language such as Telugu or be it a non-Indian language, maybe such as German or something like that, right? Now, if I have to convert everything I say manually into that language, in fact, I'm coding right there as well, right? Now, a friend comes over to me and says, hey, Anirudh, I want to, I want to just write my first program in the world. Can you please help me on how I I can print hello world in that case as well right we converted the english language into a machine understandable language by making use of a programming language be it python be it c c plus plus java or anything else right that's coding in fact your computer is coding by itself even right now right so i am communicating this to you in english right now uh you know youtube in the back and i'm sure you guys are watching this on youtube right on the back end itself it has to do a lot of translation between what it understands as a machine as an entity versus what user experience it drives for you guys that is a very very important thing so coding is the same as me translating and talking in another language versus me translating human understandable languages into to machine understandable language as well, right? Okay, so if that's coding, then what is programming? Well, programming is a very big fish out here, right? So programming is nothing but a structured process where we are defining the end-to-end -end creation, delivery, and also the working of error-free applications. You heard that, right? The term here is error-free applications. When we think about coding, we are just being a, a translator. But when you're thinking about programming, programming is basically where you're solving the entire problem. Now, translating can be be a part of solving that problem as well. And that is where the interesting concept lies in, right? That is why these two terms are used interchange interchangeably. Coding and programming go hand in hand. Cod coding is in fact a part of uh, programming itself, right? Even though they sound really, really similar, they're actually not. Coding talks about how we can write code, in fact, in multiple programming languages, but then programming talks about how we can go on to write down instructions and program the machine to execute the tasks for us, right? That is, in fact, the basic uh, difference that exists between programming and coding in itself. Uh, but then we definitely have to take a look at the differences in itself, right? To understand where exactly uh, you know all the differences lie in. So let's take a look at and understand the basic point first of all. What is coding again? Coding is basically us translating human understandable languages into machine code in the world of information technology, correct? What is programming? Programming is basically the structured process of how we can develop an application by either making use of code or not. But at the end of the day, programming involves having an error-free application that solves a problem statement, right? 
that is the difference between coding and programming. But then there is always this uh, thing that, that I get asked saying trial and error or planned approach. What is right for what and what sits where, right? Now, let me tell you this. With respect to coding, coding, uh, you, you really do not require any sort of preparation. All you have to use is trial and error. In fact, to just get started and you can work with it, right? If you know how C programming language works and if you want to learn Python, you can try doing something that you would do in C to see if it works in Python, right? The trial and error approach. You uh, definitely do not need 100% knowledge of Python to just write that hello world syntax. Perfect. Now talk about programming. Programming is very, very different from the coding with respect to this aspect, right? Because here there is no trial and error in most of the scenarios. It's a very detailed uh, plan of approach that, that's required here. A plan of action is needed and we will have a problem statement which eventually needs to be attacked, which eventually needs to be solved. And an end-to-end -end product application, a service or any sort of deliverable needs to be created at the end result of programming, right? So trial and error or having a planned approach, if this is a question that's in your mind right now, uh, you know, you'll either be looking at coding or programming based on what's in your mind. Okay, coming to the next discussion, right? How was past experience relevant with coding and with programming? Well, with coding, having the knowledge of, let's say, at least two programming languages like C++, Python, or Java is more than sufficient to get started with, right? Uh, in fact, one language is also sufficient if you can translate everything from English to Python. Well, you know, I am talking to you. Instead of me explaining it to you, if I start writing down Python code right now, it means I'm coding. But if you give me a problem statement and ask me to solve the problem using code, that's when I'm programming, right? So programming eventually if you are understanding what I'm saying right now, it's basically a skill that you build over the couple of months or let's say even a couple of years as well. So what you're trying to do with programming is you're using a lot of data. Sometimes it can get really complex data. Of course, we have a lot of algorithms, a lot of tools, techniques that are needed to create something, ensure that it works, debug to make sure it's working fine, to test it and eventually even think about upgrades and maintenance, right? This is again uh, the difference that lies when we talk about how your past experience can be relevant with starting with both. Perfect. Now, the next point that we're going to discuss is how, you know, the interaction happens with the machine itself. So with coding, your concentration mostly lies in writing a piece of code that does a very small task. And you'll have to do this many, many times to work up maybe, let's say, a sizable application, right? But with programming, programming involves coding and also translation as well. But then here, what we're trying to do is, you know, there's a lot of complexity that is coming in. So your concentration will also lie upon things such as how does the program behave? Uh, how does it react every step of the way alongside the code that you have written? So analysis of how the program state changes is also an important thing in programming that you might not be concerned about if you were just coding, right? So this interaction with machine and a lot more things that go on in the back end is a difference that you guys should know about. All right, now let's quickly talk about the tools that are required. See, with respect to coding, you can just open up a text editor and you can start writing a small program, maybe let's say to print hello world, hello dear learners, whatever it is in your favorite programming language and done, you are started with it. But with programming, programming usually goes about by, uh, you know, making use of very complex software. Sometimes it's proprietary, sometimes it's open source. Uh, you know, you'll have to use it to make sure that you can go on to first of all code, you can test, you can debug, and also you can uh, integrate other third parties tools, libraries, frameworks, or whatever it is with your current application, right? All of this thing, again, uh, if you see, there is a drastic, drastic difference between how you get started in terms of tools required for coding versus the tools required for programming, right? All right, guys, so to quickly conclude this particular discussion, right, we understood what coding is, we understood what programming is, we took a look at some really important differences that lie in between, uh, you know, coding and programming as well. So I hope now that we are clear with all the concepts that we have learned, right? Coding is basically a very small part that's involved in software development and in fact, even in programming as well. But to reiterate again, uh, you know, there should be no confusion when I say this, that, you know, programmers are also coders, you know, they can write code. But the main difference here between a coder and a programmer is that a programmer will not only have the ability to code, but also have the capability to provide a well-rounded solution to the problem at hand, as we've discussed in the previous points. Now, these were some of the really important points that we got to discuss on this comparison between coding versus programming. So what do you guys think about this? If you think that there are any more points that you want to add to this comparison, please head to the comment section and do let me know. And with this, I hope that we are very clear with the differences that lie in between coding and programming. Thank you so much for watching the video. Have a fantastic day ahead.
I want to introduce you to Great Learning Academy. This is a free initiative by Great Learning where you can have access to over 200 plus courses with 1000 plus hours of free content on all of the trending high demand domains absolutely free. Register now to complete the course and get your free certificate of completion as well. Check out the link in the description box of the video below for more details. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. This is done to make sure you do not miss out on any of the new updates or video releases from Great Learning. And of course, guys, if you enjoy this video, show us some love and do like this video. Knowledge increases by sharing, right? So make sure you share this video with your friends, colleague and everyone who can make use of it. And at the end of it, make sure to comment on the video if you have any queries or any suggestions and I'll be more than happy to respond to all of your comments.